attempt to go in. Halfway in is against his will, now completely loaded. And we are set for the start for the afternoon's first race. The red flag is raised and the gates are open. First into stride from the inside is cl Classical Dancer. Towards the outside is Mykonos. And between horses comes Sempi Fai. So they go down the back stretch. There's a two-horse race up front. It's cl Classical Dancer in front from Sempi Fai. Back now into third position now is Mykonos, followed by Intuition, who races in fourth. Wilcox Valley travels in fifth. Along the inside comes Calico Jack who tracks in that sixth position, then the, on the outside his table mate against his will, and the back marker at the stage is word on the street. They go over the top of the hill, and on the inside, change the guard up front. There's no Sempify who goes on for Stephen Alamadu, Afri Ward is in front, and they lead comfortably by a length and a half. In second position, tracking now is Intuition, who goes after in hot pursuit. Rally gets over the early pace now is Mykonos, who continues to travel in third. As they reach towards the quarter pole, two for longs to go. Sempy feet is simply easy. Two and a half leads. He, he enjoys as they come towards the corner. Go to turn for him with Afri Ward, who brings them in the Sempy feet, who looks to open the day's card on this. The Barbados Lottery Challenge, Jockey Challenge race. They clear by length and a half. Open it up. Make that two. Make that three. It is Sempy feet. Afri Ward puts it with his riding gear. Making us will course home for second. Third will be Wilcox Valley. They're on the line now. And behind Wilcox Valley in fourth is Calico Jack, followed by, on the inside, Classical Dancer. Word on the street beats two, and those two would be against his will and uh, intuition. They stop the clock. As a matter of fact, the clock is not working. So in a moment, we have a recap for you. Spinning for someone to sell it, and they're racing Zara brought very quickly, but quicker into stride was, was the awesome Fox. But on the outside, there goes Don't Doubt Doris to sweep through and pick it up. So it's Don't Doubt Doris, just the leader from the awesome Fox. Three back before we get to Rockley. On the inside is Zara. Then there's guests again on the outside, three wide. is Firecracker, then Mary Stewart. The little but lucky is the last one as they're around the far turn ahead of the hill towards the three for marker. And you better believe it's Don't Doubt Doris, just the leader. But on the outside, there goes Rotley to ask a question. The awesome Fox is two and a half lengths away in third. Zara is on the next one, through in fourth. One improving nicely as guests again as they come beside the quarter pole. The opening quarter was 26 and two. And the leader is now Rockley, who's opened up by three lengths from Don't Doubt Doris. The awesome Fox is trying to close. Zara's hanging around, so two guests again. And there are no more turns. And Rockley is in command, opens up by five. On the outside, there's the awesome fault. Zara trying to close white on the outside. Here's Little But Lucky. But you can sing this field a lullaby. They have been put to bed. Close your butts, class dismissed. Rockley in a rock. Close for second between Zara on the inside and Mary Stewart. The awesome fault rounded out the top four. The winner stopped the clock in 111 and two. In a moment, we'll be back with a recap for you. Starter raises the red flag, and he sends them racing for the third race on today's program, the Barbados Cricket Association Jockey Challenge Trophy Handicap, going a distance of 15, 70 meters. And in front early is Provence, who's going to come across now to take the lead. So it's Provence in front, between horses is Sebastian, on the outside it is slipping. Badly is Black Rock, then comes along the rails is Phil Morris, then comes Scarface. There's a gap about five lengths now back. To graceful, then comes on the inside is Aquila. The girls, them sugar, the secret American and Army Ash is their back marker as they've gone through the, an early quarter of 25 and 4, with just about five for longs to run. And up front, it is Provence. In front, on the outside of that one is Sebastian. In third position is Phil Moore's running a very good race into third. In fourth position is Black Rock. On the outside of them is Scarface. Moving up sweetly along the rails is Graceful. Then there's a gap about four lengths to Aquila. Then comes Secret American. Back in now badly now is the girls them sugar. And Amiash has not yet found his best stride. They've done the half in 52 and 3 as they pass the drill hall turn. And Provence is still in front. Coming in. 
into contention now is Black Rock. Uh, Phil Morris is in third. Sebastian is also being asked for more rent as they come now with about a furlong and a half to go. And Provence is still in front, sweeping by on the outside. We can see Sebastian. Here they come spinning out of the turn. And Provence has led from every, every step of the race. And there's Sebastian in front on the outside. It's Black Rock. Sebastian is running on at them. But it's Provence. Here comes Phil Morris. Provence on the outside. Here comes Aquila. Provence is holding on. Provence is going to win it. First blood goes to the English team. From Bro Provence wins it from Graceville. Then came on the outside was Aquila. Phil Morris. Ameas. Then came Black Rock. Sebastian. The girls them should the Scarface and Secret America in 144 flat. In a moment, we have the official placings for you. Red flag is raised. They're off in the Mega Ball Jockey Challenge Trophy handicap to a pretty level beginning. A mischief maker popped out best with Jewel as well. Coming three wide is eye catches the pass to fight for long marker. So it's mischief maker on the inside and eye catcher on the outside. They've then displaced Jewel's back to third. Quality star is fourth as they race up the back stretch. Passing quality star is Miss Megan inside of the half mile pole. Dropping back is Koyab as well as Angela Julia, head of the state. And the distant trail is can't crush this as they get over the top of the hill. The opening quarter in 26 and 1. An eye catcher has steadily made her way to the front with three furlongs left to go. Joe with the Barbadian captain is right at her flank. Miss Megan from her outside post raises up into contention three wide. Quality star just waiting for his cue from Matthew Ward as they come onto the marker. On the inside is Mischief Maker and they come to the corner with eye catcher to catch. And it's eye catcher who's on top from Jewel in between horses out wide is Quality Star who's just been released as they turn far home and I catch with the one to reel in with Jamie Spencer Rashid Hughes is imploring Jewel and getting up from the inside is Mischief Maker with Eric Daniels they come down to the wire and it's Mischief Maker and Eric Daniel and the Beijing team is reminding them that this is their house Eric Daniel gets home and pilots Mischief Maker to a win in a photo for second was I catcher and Jewel Koyaba as well in a photo for fourth with Quality Star in a final time of one eleven and 2 They're all in. Racing, the fan David broke sharply on the inside, coming across from the outside. Jericho shows a lot of get up and go. So too is Charles Frederick down the inside. Fast cash. There's a break of a length and a half to Mario Road. Too much bling has one beaten at this stage. And that is pay as you go. As they go past the four for long marker, hit into far turn and begin to run up the hill towards Brigade House. And Defiant David is in front by about two and a half now from on the inside. Fast cash. On the outside, Charles Frederick is going well. Jericho is next one through. Mario Road ready to pounce. Too much bling yet to shine. Pay as you go has all to pass. The opening quarter, 24 and 3. They begin their run downhill towards the cannons. And Defiant David, yet to see a rival in front by two from Fast Cash. Mario Rowe improves nicely on the inside. Charles Frederick knocking away as Jericho falls away. Too much blink starts to close. Pays to go. Still has all to pass. And they're homeward bound. And Defiant David is in command. On the outside, here's Mario Rohr rattling home. Defiant David gets right-handed encouragement. On the outside, Mario Rohr gets left-handed leather. Inside the final for long, Mario Rohr picks him up, puts him away, and goes on to win it by a length and a half. Too much bling. May just have gotten up to snatch second from Defiant David. They were close. Fast cash runs out the top four. The winner stopped the clock in 109-3. And I won't be back with a recap for you. They're locked away under starter's orders. Racing summer game was a little slow to go, but Prince Hector is being hustled along to, to the lead. On the inside of him is Stevenson Thunder. Who wants to lead more? So Stevenson Thunder leads now from Prince Hector. Down the inside, Super Heights popped away smartly with a mile to go. Then there is on the outside, Aerodynamic. Gold Star is up early this afternoon. I can see the white face of Zensational polishing the plastic on the inside. Then there is Oberoi. Sydney is a superstar. It's just just trailed now by Saint Saint Bonita Bay. And Summer Game is the back marker with a circuit to go. The opening quarter, 26 and 4. And it's Stevenson Standard, yellow jacket with blue sleeves. Who leads? From Prince Hector, black with red sleeves. On the inside, Super Heights in the gray silks. Then there's aerodynamic shock in pink. Towards the outside in yellow is Gold Star. On the inside, Zanzation pulling double. On the outside, green silks is Bonita Bay. Then there's 
Sydney is a superstar and Saint Saint there race so just ahead of summer again and Oberoi is on the outside, the opening half, fifty one and two. They head back towards the far turn. And Stevenson Thunder in front by a length and a half from on the inside, Super Heights. Then there's Prince Hector on the inside, Aerodynamic. Bonito Bay is being asked for more run. Gold Star is next one through. Zane Sessional is all dressed up, but has nowhere to go at this point as they go past their brigade starting point. And it's Stevenson Thunder in front by a length and a half. On the outside, there comes Aerodynamic. Down the inside, Super Heights. Zane Sessional is in a clear path now. Then there's same, same moving on. Prince Hector falls away. Inside the quarter pole, they come the mile in 1901. And Stevenson Thunder's playing to the lead on the outside. Here comes Aerodynamic to ask a question. Is Stevenson Thunder on the inside? On the outside, Aerodynamic. Stevenson Thunder and Aerodynamic. These two have it between them. Wait on the outside. Here comes Sing Sing rolling home as well. It's on the outside. Here comes Sing Sing with a ground run. Picks it up. Swoops by a wins it now. Just by about a length from on the inside, Stevenson's thunder. Aerodynamic was third. Sensational runs out the top four. The winner start the claw in 201 flat. In a moment, we'll be back with a recap for you. Flag and he sends them racing for the National Sports Council Jockey Challenge Trophy. Going a distance of five, five and a half alongs. And out front is Brighton Rock. Brighton Rock takes the lead. Ultimate is in second. Then comes Mr. US in third. Along the rails comes Kyoto. Then comes Bird in the Valley. Along the rails comes Right on Time. On the outside of them comes Inspiration. Just ain't easy. Disco Bay just goes by and Django is your back marker. 25 and 4 is the opening quarter as they go by the drill hall turn. And it is Brighton Rock in front. Mr. US is traveling beautifully in second position. Backing out is Kyoto. Here comes on the outside, right on time, as they come with just about two for longs to run. And it is Brighton Rock in front on the outside. Here comes Mr. US. In third position, Kyoto comes with a run, with a furlong and a half to go. And it is still Brighton Rock. Here they come spinning out of the turn. And it is in front, Brighton Rock on the outside. Here comes Mr. US. It's Mr. US on the outside. Flying out comes Kyoto on the inside. Here comes right on time. Right on time is one of it. Right on time. Where is it now? Team Barbados will have just secured the win. Right on time from Mr. US. Then came Tiger Ness, Kyoto. Just it easy. Brighton Rock. Then came Inspiration, Django. Bird in the Valley, Disco Bay, and a long, long way back to Ultimate in 111 flat. In a moment, we'll have the unofficial placings for you. Walked away. The red flag is raised. And uh, gates are open for the Mega Six Handicap in a line of five. On the inside, showing promptly, now putting her head in front is Island Cotton towards the inside is Joshua in the middle. You get Brighton, you get Radio. Brigadier Wood, and one going by on the outside now is Radio Flair. As Bur Brigadier Wood is relegated into that fourth position, the trailer is campaigner's goal. As this quintet continues down the back stretch, on the inside, the leader continues to be Island Cotton, who leads by a length and a half. On the outside is Radio Flair, travels nicely in between the horses. Joshua is still hanging around. Brigadier Wood is in striking position in fourth, and the trailer continues to be none other than campaigner's goal. They are at the top of the hill past the Betting booth and it is Island Cotton who is now being joined on the outside by Radio Flair. These two come together. On the outside, Radio Flair pushes his head in front. It is Radio Flair who takes over from Island Cotton. Coming into it is Joshua towards the outside. Burgundy Wood and Campaign as goal has absolutely no chance as they turn for him. One for long to go. And on the inside, it is Radio Flair towards the outside. Burgundy Wood trying to get it. Joshua looks a beaten horse hanging around his Island Cotton, but it is Radio Flair by a length and a half. Burgundy Wood trying, but that will be futile. It is Radio Flair who's going to get home by a length and a half from Burgadier Wood and in third is Joshua followed by Island Cotton and at the back of the field is horse number one, Campaigner's Gold and they stop the clock in 1.08 and 4. In a moment, we'll have a recap for you. <laughs> 